Alright guys, so we are going to be doing the clutch. Uh, so we're going to be bleeding up the clutch. I'm also going to be checking the airbox for the oil. I'm going to secure the battery. So over the past week or two we've had an issue with the clutch where it's just not putting the air through. So I'm going to teach you, I'm going to try and show you how to bleed the clutch and what to remove on the front here. So if I will gradually take the camera off, do that softly. I'm also using the mic today, so I'll be a bit rainy. So this a cylinder, which is right at the bottom there. Uh, let's see if I pick it up on the camera. There it is. Use my pen. So there we go. It's right there. So you got clip at the back there, which we'll show you in a second. But first, we're going to move airbox turbo pipe, relay box, relay covers and all that stuff, get proper access to it and we will come along with a lead kit onto it, prime it four or five times should be fine. And then the second job, roof box for the oil is there, and I've got the pen again, uh, so yeah, that's just about three pipes in there but for that we're going to move one, two, uh, I've also got to fit the battery secures on which are here so yeah I will show, hopefully try and show you some steels along the way and stuff and how to do it so just going to remove all this stuff all these gobbins out of the way uh, I will see you when I've done that So uh, we're back around. So we've got everything get out of the way. So I can now properly show you. So that's your clutch slave cylinder. So that's your bleed nipple at the top. You'll see this is only one of the cap on. But here, if I zoom in properly, see that clip just there? So that comes out. Don't put it out all the way. It's just the one clip. So it comes, obviously, these are really, really hard to get hold of, I should say. Sorry, these clutch masters and uh, clutch slave cylinders. Uh, these are really impossible to get hold of. And they're really horrible to bleed. These are the worst top of fucking fit to them. So, yeah, that pops out once. It's like, like so. So now that's ready to be bleed, baby bled. I'm just show that back and hold it in place. But what they like to do, they like to pop out once which means you can pull that back then you push that back in and then obviously you put you do all your stuff on the inside come back out push that in clip that back in and so forth repeat the process three or four times which you'll see me do in a second but i'm going to replace the seal on the end of the pipe to a bigger one to a, a, fat, a lot faster one to see if that hold the air in a lot more uh but see this is your hose here that goes into a copper pipe that goes into your master cylinder. They are non-existent. You cannot get them replaced. But what the scrap yards like to do, because it's next to this on top of the gearbox, all they do just do is snip it or crimp the, yeah, cut it off from the copper pipe at the back. Which means you can't get one of these from the scrap yard either. Uh, so you can't get them made. You can get them made, but you've got to take the whole thing off. Then that's your breather box. So as you see, I've removed the one pipe which goes into your airbox. The other pipe that goes into your engine. And there's a third pipe at the bottom, which you can't see. As you see, it's in, but this just slots in. But as you can see with mine, that's not exactly tight. In. It's a 10mm bolt holding in, so I'm going to quickly just take that off now. Now, uh, this. Should have a cover on it. That's your relay for your heat, uh, your glow plug here. There's not glow plug, sorry, your flame start. Which is then non-existent. So I'm just going to take that off. 
It wants to come off. Thank you. This is how bad it is. See how much fluid it's drinking? Just be like that. Yeah. And we'll see you when I've got it all on. Right. So, as I was say, we're going to take the air box off, which is a 10 mil, must be 10 mil. Yeah, I'm going to bloody put that. There it is. And there's much more ratchet. Oh, I think it's a 10 mil. So this is a brand new box I've fitted onto it for the air box. Uh, these parts you cannot buy. You can buy one they're 200 quid. And like I say, they just slot in and they are such a terrible design. Let's use the background noise. I've got my dad here in the workshop. This is workshop I'm currently using. Seven mil spanner. He's doing all these electrics on his truck. So, you're gonna hear him ratted around in the background. Let's see if I can undo this last pipe. Anyone's wondering, duplicate clips of the 7mm. There we go. Ah, fucking. There we go, that shit they'll just pop off. Ah, gotcha. Ah. Alright, so that's your airbox. Just wipe my hands off. There you go, Dad. That's the oily airbox. That's the oily airbox. Yeah. Well, there's your seal. What I do is slot in, I've had to modify it. Just to slot it in. Because you these aren't you can't buy them no more. Oh, no baffle or nothing in there, throw it into the crankcase, isn't it? Yeah. That's why they that's why they leak. So so it's actually still recording, is it? Yeah, still recording, that's good. So, just give that a quick wipe down. Yeah, that's straight in, that is. And these parts, like I was just saying to the folks on the other end, you can't buy these parts. For 200 quid. Which was something you can make here, wouldn't you? There's another broken bracket there. That's a fixing screw there. Yeah. It's broken off, which is that one. Yeah. That's your fixing screw. Yeah, and it's directly there. Is that a 10 mils down there? One sec, Dad. That won't be broken. Is it just there? Yeah, that's not to do with this. Yeah, that's the bracket, but there's another off the bracket. Yeah, fucking hell, there's my allen keys there. Fucking hell. I suppose why it's not securing in then. Because that's why, sh that's why the... See, ladies and gentlemen, even I'm learning. Get this one off. <sighs> that makes sense. So there's the other half there. And that's the other half there. But yeah. 
Well, that's great, isn't it? I trimmed this box thinking it was only one bracket. Now, now I realise fucking what an idiot. Two brackets. So I'm going to replace the green seal. I don't know if you guys are picking that up. You've got the green seal there. I'm just going to quickly replace it. Uh, clean that up. Uh, and get on with it. So that's still picking up what I'm doing. Just about. So yeah. Clean that off there as well. Get all this oil off of it. Especially why it's not sealing properly. Here we go. Oh, I need my flat blade screwdriver. We'll place the seal on this quickly. There we go. There's a green rubber seal, but as you can see, this one's beyond gone. And then, let's see. Nah. There we go. New seal on. Slam that back into place. Great. Yeah, I got it out. So is it. Alright, oh, a big penny washer here with a drill centre in. <clears throat> yeah. I'm talking to the camera by the way, so. I fucking put the wrong size fucking doofy on. Does that when you get the right size doofy, doesn't it? Being Italians putting the wrong size doofies on. There we go. So, like Dad just said, we're going to drill off. We're going to wash, we're going to drill up the centre. That's better. Can I get away with putting one or two in there? Nope. That's in the right place. Perfect. Is that a solid thing? I'll put it all back in place. So, that's one job done. Right, so I'm going to come back to you guys when I've got that in place, because there was smoke and a rattle. Guys, I don't know if it's picking up over the uh, the compressor, but we are about to bleed the clutch. So we've got box fitting. So I fitted on the box the wrong way around. I fitted it the way the last person fitted. Uh, but if you can see, okay, I'm just gonna pick it up. There we go. See the way the bracket. So it should sit behind, uh, and then there's one further down. Silly camera. There's a bolt at the back here that holds the two together. So that's your breather box on and off. We've already got a pipe on at the bottom, pipe back on at the top. Done the battery. We've done that. So onto the clutch. Hi right, guys. So we've just bled the clutch. We forgot to press record. So release that pin all the way out. Take that one click. Then shove that back in place if it wants to, and prime it three or four times, and then to repeat. I should uh, I'm gonna compress from the vacuum, that's like we just did. So I'm just gonna reassemble all of this, see what the drug wants to do, and go from there. So yeah, we'll see you on your side, guys.
Right, so, well, what was I saying? So, yeah, so we've complete the clutch change, complete the uh, clutch uh, bleed, sorry, complete the uh, battery terminals, uh, battery terminals, fixed the breather box in place. That was a right fucking pain in the ass. Uh, because it was fitted wrongly in the first place before I even come to it. So when I replaced it, I replaced it how I've seen it. Wasn't the case at all. Uh, so that's been changed. Uh, what's next to do on the list? So over the next week or two, uh, I'm working or wherever I'm working. It's hard to do videos. I don't know what I without knowing what's going on. So, we've got more of the land build stuff coming up. I hope you enjoyed the last land build video. Uh, I know that one was a bit awkward. It's an epic rat in the mic can cover. So yeah, I will leave you guys here. Uh, and I hope you enjoy this wacky maintenance video. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you. Goodbye.